Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my January favorites. Um, I did not do a November or December favorites video because November I think I didn't use anything new and December just got away from me. So some of these products I have been loving all of January but also I loved in November and December as well. So it's kind of just all three months put together so let's just dive right into it. First off, this is not new to my collection and I'm sure I've mentioned this in a favorites video before but my skin has been so so dry no matter how much I moisturize it it is so dry especially right here and right here on my face to where this is the only foundation that I have been gravitating towards because it makes my skin not look dry it's very hydrating on the skin it looks natural and it just looks really pretty with dry skin and my skin hasn't been this dry in a really long time so if you have really dry skin you would absolutely love the Tarte hybrid gel foundation. Um, this is exclusive to Ulta and I'm in the shade medium neutral. My mom also uses this and she loves it. She got it last summer. Um, I think I got mine around my birthday last year so I've had it for almost a year and it's almost gone and I definitely think I would repurchase this. I do want to use this up um, within the next few months just because I don't like having foundations and mascaras for very long for longer than a year because I don't want bacteria and stuff to grow into it but I love this foundation and it has seriously been saving me every time I do my makeup another thing that has been my favorite lately is the concealer so I know everybody's going crazy over the new wet n wild photo focus collection and everybody's been wanting to try the foundation but I'm actually really obsessed with the concealer and I've been using the concealer more than the foundation and more than the powder um, I have the concealer in the shade Light Ivory and it's just a very creamy concealer. It's not full coverage. Um, you can see through it, but it just looks really nice. I have it on today and I feel like it's great for highlighting the face. Um, I do color correct and then put this over it and I love that combo of having a color corrected eye with this kind of light to medium coverage concealer um, depending if you want a medium you can build it up but if you want a light it certainly does that so I use this especially when I do natural makeup looks because it's not so full coverage you can still see my skin through it and it's just really really nice I really like the concealer and I don't really hear a lot of people talking about it so I don't know if people don't like it or just haven't tried it but it's really good and I do like it and I think it doesn't hurt to try it because the price tag is so cheap it's like four dollars for this concealer an eyeshadow palette that I have been using so, so much since Christmas is the Tartist in Bloom palette. Or no, sorry, Tartlet in Bloom palette. I actually got this for Christmas, um, so it's really new to my collection, even though it's not a new palette. I think it launched like a year ago or something, but I love the shades in it. It's so neutral. You have um, deeper colors to make a nice smoky eye, so I have made a really nice smoky eye with this palette, but it has really natural colors for a very natural look, so you can basically get any type of look you want with this palette, and it's simple. It doesn't have a ton of shades where it's overwhelming to look at when you want to do your makeup, and I am so obsessed with this shade in, what is it called, Funny Girl? There's a glare. I think it's called Funny Girl. But it's the shimmer shade in the palette and I'm so obsessed with using this on my inner tear duct. It is so pretty. It's like my favorite shade in the entire palette. But I really, really love this palette and I think it smells good and the quality is really good. So I don't know. I went all this time not having it and now I'm obsessed with it. Also, ever since I did my review on the Tardis Pro palette, I've been using it a lot more and I actually like it a lot more than I did when I first got it. If I was going to recommend one of these palettes, I would recommend the Tartlet in Bloom palette because I feel like the quality is better, it's easier to blend and it doesn't get muddy. Um, a couple shades in this does get muddy, but I really like it and I know it's not the superb quality, um, a lot of people have complaints about it because of some of the colors get muddy and they're hard to blend, but I actually feel the same way where I feel like it does get muddy, but at the end of the day, I end up always liking the look that I create with this. So I have a really love-hate relationship with this, but I figured I'd mention it in my favorites because I like it a lot 
and I use it a lot even though I don't think it's the best quality. I use it a ton and I always end up loving the looks that I create so it's kind of weird. Um, and I really really love the shimmer shades in this palette. They're gorgeous. The neutral shades are great. It's just some of those purpley tones get a little muddy. Sticking with Tarte, I have been obsessed with this highlighter. I got it for Christmas. It's the Tarte Highlighter in Exposed and it is such a beautiful highlighter. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. It's just so beautiful. It's such a neutrally toned highlighter and it looks so beautiful on the skin. There's no chunky glitter. It just looks very smooth and glowy on the skin. And it is a lighter shade so it really is bam on my skin tone, on my medium skin tone. And it's just so pretty. It blends out nicely. You can build it up to be super intense or you can kind of sheer it out and make it look nice and natural and glowy. And I have been using this so much. This is probably the highlighter that I've been reaching for the most out of all of my highlighters since I got it for Christmas. I just can't stop using it. It's so good. And if you haven't tried this Tarte highlighter, I highly recommend it. Um, I have swatched the Tartist Pro Palette for the... The highlighters with the contour shades in it and I felt like it was all glittery and not really smooth when I swatched it but that one is super smooth I highly recommend it the other highlighter that I've been using a ton I've been using it on its own mixing it with other highlighters I've been using this one a ton as much as the Tarte one this is the Divina Cosmetics highlighter in Iced Kissed it should still be available by the time I upload this video and if it is I highly recommend it it is so intense and beautiful it is the most intense highlighter I have and it goes on so smooth on the skin like that's just one swipe it's so pigmented and intense I have it very lightly on my inner tear duct today and it is gorgeous especially if you have a light skin tone you're gonna absolutely love this if you have a medium skin tone it still looks beautiful and if you have a deeper skin tone it's beautiful for an eyeshadow on your inner tear duct or to mix into other highlighters that are not intense enough for you because I've been using this as a mixing highlighter as well so if I put on a highlighter and it doesn't feel intense enough I add this and oh my gosh it's bam beautiful highly highly recommend this lastly let's talk about lips one of the liquid lipsticks that I've been reaching for quite a bit lately which has surprised me is the bear with me shade by dose of colors if you have not seen this it's just a very nude peachy toned liquid lipstick it's really pretty it looks really natural on my skin tone and it's not too light so it does not like wash me out or look concealer like it has a peachy pink undertone to it so it's really really pretty I love the dose of colors formula and then recently I've been into traditional lipsticks I've been getting back into them so one of the lipsticks I wanted to mention is by Baby Bat Beauty. This is their lipstick in Bonfire Babe. And I got this a few months ago and I've really, really loved it every time I've used it. I've reached for it quite a few times. And it's like an orangey nude color. It smells good. I don't know what their lipsticks smell like. I can never tell, but it just smells good. So that's it right there. It looks a little bit darker on my hand. On my lips, I feel like it looks a little bit more nude. But it's such a beautiful lipstick. And it if you don't like the way liquid lipsticks kind of crack, can crack and crumble, this is the next best thing because it's almost as matte as a liquid lipstick. Like, this is matte. This is the mattest lipstick I've ever tried. It is so matte. But it looks beautiful. It doesn't crack and crumble like a liquid lipstick will. It's super easy to reapply. It lasts a really long time. I really, really love their lipstick formula. I think they have a really good one. So if you haven't tried them out, I do recommend Baby Bat Beauty. I really like their brand. And I just feel like their shades are a little bit different and unique of the different products that they have. So definitely recommend this. I do want to pick up other shades. They have another shade called like summer or something like that. It's like a peachy coral color. I really want to pick that one up. And last but most certainly not least, I have been grabbing my Lux Pineapple lipsticks. I did a swatch and review video of their newest um, lip product line. They released five new traditional lipsticks. This one is in the shade Carrie and I think this one recently has been one of my favorites. It's so pretty. It's just a hot pink color and I have been really, really loving this especially because I've been kind of getting a little bit bored with winter makeup and kind of craving the spring and summer makeup. So I've been putting this one on quite a bit and I really love it. It lasts a really, really, really long time on the lips um, and it's a matte lipstick so it doesn't 
like move around and slide all over your face as easily as a very glossy lipstick would. Um, so I really, really love this and I think the color on it is gorgeous and it goes on so nicely on the lips. And the other one that I really was loving more in maybe December more than January is their lipstick in Samantha. And this one is a beautiful, like very deep shade. I think it would look beautiful on any skin tone. Well, I think both of them would look beautiful on any skin tone for that matter. And it is the same formula. It's a matte and it's very, very creamy. It glides on very easy onto the lips and it's a beautiful color. I really love the Luxe Pineapple lipsticks. I knew I was gonna like them, but I love them way more than I thought I would because I've been drifted away from traditional lipsticks for a long time. So these really made me fall back in love with a traditional lipstick formula that and the baby bat beauty one I have been loving these and not really missing liquid lipsticks as much So guys, that's all for this video Please leave down in the comments something that has been your favorite the past month So that way I can try it out too and I'll see you guys in my next video I do videos twice a week and I will see you guys then until then have a great day slash night everybody. Bye